And we're back, uh, full house. We're going to talk LC athletics a bit. Uh, Dr. Rick Brewer here, along with his basketball coaches, Rennie and Mason and Patrice Carter. And welcome to the show. Thank Thank you yes, so much yes, guys. we're uh, we're glad to be here. Thank you. And uh, Rick, uh, again, Patrice Rennie, a bit of a promotion. They're now associate athletic director. Yes, sir. We've expanded our athletics program from 13 to 18 sports, mm -hmm. and by doing that, there are a lot more responsibility, a lot greater needs. Uh, Patrice is going to help us on the operations side to make right. sure games run smoothly and handle a lot of other details involving all our, our uh, operations of our uh, games on campus. Coach Mason is going to help me a great deal on the fundraising side on external relations. So really leveraging their gifts, their skills. Yeah. They're both solid leaders. They're the kind of coaches you'd want your children to play for and the kind of people I want to work with. And so we're glad to have them on our team for many years to come, I hope. So. And they're relatively new at L.C. Rennie. He's about to begin mm -hmm. his second year. Patrice was telling me about to begin her third year. Mm -hmm. uh, JV programs now yes. at the Louisiana College. We're excited um, to be able to expand, to bring in even more young people. Mm -hmm. uh, one of the things, the reasons we're in coaching is because we love the effect that we have on young people. And so being able to expand our JV program to bring even more student athletes on campus, it's been amazing. The recruiting has doubled, but uh, so has our coaching staff. <laughs> and so it just gives us an opportunity to touch even more lives. Yeah, and uh, Patrice, there's a, such a strong tradition of uh, Lady Wildcat basketball at Louisiana College. Absolutely, and uh, we look to continue that. One yeah. of the things that I tell every young lady that I recruit is that, you know, if you're not going to do it to be great, why do it? Mm -hmm. And so we're constantly building, going towards that goal. Um, the, the young ladies I've recruited this year, um, the strong, strong base that I have coming back next year, we're looking to make some noise. And you know something about Central Louisiana basketball. You yes, played sir. at Winfield, I so this, this is kind of your area. Yes, sir. This is home for me. Uh, I've enjoyed the support. I've enjoyed uh, just being able to have my family, my friends, mm -hmm. and those. I've met so many people who remembered me playing at Louisiana College, mm -hmm. and they've become fans as well. So we're just trying to grow our fan base and just let everyone know that uh, Louisiana College is no longer just a little diamond in the rough. And Rennie, you're about to begin your second year here. Uh, feeling more at home now? I am. Um, we're excited about the changes. Yeah. Uh, my family and I have settled into the Central Louisiana region. Um, it's just been amazing what has happened at Louisiana College in a very short time for us in our tenure. Mm -hmm. um, the extra um, responsibilities that are being given, we don't look at it like that. We look at it as a progression um, to do whatever we have to do to make Louisiana College a fine of institution as, as it can be. And uh, you were telling me just a second ago before we came on air, you you pretty optimistic. About the I game. am. I Is am. You? I think um, my coaching staff um, and I have done a, a good job of recruiting. Um, mm -hmm. You never know until you actually hit the hardwood, but we're excited about what's moving forward, not only for our, our players as um, representing Louisiana College on the floor, but what they're going to do in the community also. I think we have an outstanding opportunity to impact the community of Pineville and Alexandria right. with the type of young men we're bringing in. Rick was telling us just a second ago, you're going to be involved in fundraising, how important that is for a college. I think it's, um, it's essential for any survival of mm -hmm. any program, um, a college, with the way that things are going in the state of Louisiana now, um, financial with schools. It's important that we reach out to the community to make them be a part of what we do. Mm -hmm. um, and, and fortunately for us, um, we have an opportunity um, to share with individuals what Louisiana College is really about, and hopefully they'll invest in, in what we're doing moving forward. And uh, Rick, you're fortunate to have two coaches like that. Oh, we're blessed, yeah, absolutely, because they are a great fit for the institution. Mm -hmm. uh, they live out their faith very real ways. Right. They have an impact on students spiritually, academically, athletically, and uh, we just tapped into that. We recognized uh, their leadership and their skill set to help us move forward, so uh, we're, we're excited about the potential of this in the future. A lot of challenges before us. Say the least, yeah. But, uh, but we believe we got to, you know, you got the right people in the right place. And uh, busy people like to stay busy. <laughs> <laughs> and one more thing about one sure. more thing about coaching and sports right now. You know, all of us in all our 18 sports were undefeated at this point. <laughs> and so we're we're That's pumped. A good point. We are That's pumped a, going into the new year. You're really excited right now. <laughs> Absolutely. You watching the uh, the, the U.S. Uh, basketball teams? Oh yeah. The men and yes, the women. Yes, I have. Yeah, pretty, sure. pretty dominant right now. Yeah, we expect nothing less. <laughs> there you go. All right. Thanks. Yes, thanks absolutely. for coming by. Good to Thank have you. Thank you very Thank much. Thank you so much for having us. Best of luck this year. Thank you. Thank you very Thank much. You. More to come on our show this Monday. Stay with us.